Immortal News family and welcome back to our channel. In the last 24 hours, we have received the somber news of the passing of extraordinary talents, and today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Before we start, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Number 9. Nathan Shaldock, widely known as Callie Nate from the hit reality TV show Street Outlaws, tragically passed away at the age of 34 following a car crash in southwest Texas. His enthusiasm for drag racing and exceptional driving skills earned him respect in the racing scene and beyond. His passion for the sport he loved was clear in every race he competed in, leaving a lasting impression on both fans and fellow racers. His legacy is defined not only by his racing accomplishments, but also by the love and commitment he shared with his girlfriend, Courtney Paulshock, and their common goals. Those who knew Shaldock personally, as well as the greater Street Outlaws audience, are greatly saddened by his passing. His story is a heartbreaking reminder of the risks that come with pursuing one's passion, but it also serves as an inspiration to live completely and seek aspirations with unshakable courage. Tributes to Nathan Shaldock Number 8. Clarence Frogman Henry, the beloved New Orleans rhythm and blues icon famed for his timeless single, Ain't Got No Home, passed away at the age of 87 after years of health issues. His remarkable voice, which contained a peculiar frog-like croak, won the hearts of fans all around the world, including the Beatles, who chose him as the opening act for their 1964 tour. Born in 1937 in New Orleans, his musical career began early, and he rose to prominence with his self-penned hit in 1956, which soared to the top of the charts. Throughout his career, his voice was heard not only on the radio, but also in films, and audiences of all ages liked it. Despite the changing musical scene, his song Ain't Got No Home has remained a treasured classic gaining new fame through its inclusion in Haven movies and even as a light-hearted theme by talk show presenters. His personal life was as colorful as his musical career, with seven marriages contributing to his legacy. He was well known for his frog memorabilia collection, which served as a reminder of the persona that propelled him to popularity. Even when he encountered obstacles, such as Hurricane Ida, damage to his home or worsening health, the town and his admirers rallied around him, assuring his legacy would go on. His anticipated presence at the 2024 New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival reflects his music's enduring appeal and his listeners' adoration for it. His contributions to the rhythm and blues genre have been enshrined in the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame, demonstrating his long-lasting influence on the music industry. Tributes to Clarence Frogman, Henry. Number 7. Jessica Hanna, a devout Catholic mother and fervent pro-life advocate, passed away at the age of 40, following a valiant battle with cancer. Her unshakable faith and determination to favor the life of her unborn child over cancer treatment drew respect and support from all across the world. Her Instagram journey, which she shared with over 45,000 followers, became a beacon of hope, courage, and faith in God's plan. 
reaching over cultural and geographical barriers to touch the hearts of a global community. Hannah addressed her predicament with remarkable faith and determination, beginning with her diagnosis in 2022 while pregnant with her youngest son, Thomas. Despite the terrible prognosis and aggressive nature of her illness, she chose life, demonstrating her strong belief in the sanctity of every human life. Her tale touched many people, serving as a tribute to the strength of faith and the sanctity of life in the face of tragedy. Throughout her illness, Hannah used her platform to bring a community together in prayer, revealing not just her sufferings, but also her unshakable faith in the power of suffering for others. Her observations, particularly those shared during her Good Friday moments, revealed a soul deeply connected to Christ's sufferings, offering her own in solidarity with His for the salvation of the world. Her legacy is one of unwavering spirit and profound faith. Her life, despite physical hardship, shone brightly with the light of Christ's love and mercy, encouraging many people to deepen their faith and confidence in God's providence. Tributes to Jessica Hanna Number 6. Colonel Ralph Puckett, an esteemed U.S. Army veteran and Medal of Honor recipient for his valor during the Korean conflict, passed away in his sleep at the age of 97. His sudden passing marked the end of an exceptional military career and leadership. Colonel Puckett, the last surviving Medal of Honor recipient from the Korean War, leaves a legacy of bravery, honor, and unshakable dedication to his nation. He graduated from the United States Military Academy at West Point, and his military career was highlighted by his leadership in crucial battles and major impact on future generations of soldiers. His actions on Hill 205, where he commanded the 8th Army Ranger Company against overwhelming odds, showcased his outstanding bravery and tactical acumen. Despite terrible injuries, he stayed focused on his men's safety and success, exhibiting the principle of selfless service. John Locke, a retired Army lieutenant colonel who advocated for his Medal of Honor, stated that Colonel Puckett lived by example, demonstrating the depth of his character not only in leadership, but in all aspects of life. His honors, which include the Distinguished Service Cross, Silver Stars, and Purple Hearts, hardly scratch the surface of his service to the country and its armed forces. As we honor Colonel Ralph Puckett's memory, we reflect on a life devoted to the highest ideals of duty, honor, and country. Tributes to Colonel Ralph Puckett. Number five, Karen Yarbrough, a trailblazer in Illinois politics and the first woman and African-American to serve as the Cook County clerk, passed away at the age of 73 after a battle with an undisclosed illness. Her career was defined by her commitment to public service, which began with her term in the Illinois House of Representatives from 2001 to 2013 and continued with her duties as Cook County Recorder of Deeds and Clerk. Her legacy includes an unshakable commitment to community involvement, as evidenced by her leadership in a variety of civic groups, including the Maywood Chamber of Commerce and the boards of United Way of Suburban Chicago and the Oak Park YMCA. Her educational odyssey, which took her from Chicago State University to Northeastern Illinois University and the John F. Kennedy School of Government, reinforced her conviction in lifelong learning and leadership development. 
As a state representative, she was noted for her leadership on critical committees and her participation in the Illinois Legislative Black Caucus, which reflected her dedication to meeting the needs of urban areas and campaigning for public safety and technological access. Her tenure as vice chair of the Democratic Party of Illinois demonstrated her political skill and alliance with leaders such as Michael Madigan, highlighting her impact in the state's political environment. Her personal life, which included her marriage to Henderson Yarbrough and her role as a grandmother to seven children, was centered on her love for her family and community. Her passing is a great loss for everyone who knew her and were affected by her work. Tributes to Karen Yarbrough. Number four, Jerry Grote, the esteemed American professional baseball catcher whose career spanned from 1963 to 1981 across several major league teams, passed away at the age of 81 due to respiratory failure. His career in baseball is defined by his great defensive skills behind the plate while playing for the New York Mets, Houston Colts, Los Angeles Dodgers, and Kansas City Royals. He was a key figure in the New York Mets 1969. World Series victory, giving him a place in Mets fans' hearts and recognition as one of the best defensive catchers of his age. His path from San Antonio, Texas, where he experienced a catastrophic tornado as a child, to the peak of Major League Baseball exemplifies his perseverance and determination. His exceptional abilities were polished at Douglas MacArthur High School and subsequently developed at Trinity University, culminating in his professional debut with the Houston Colts at the age of 20. His move to the Mets in 1966 marked the start of a notable era in his career, which included two all-star appearances and a reputation for excellent pitching staff leadership. Grote's influence on the game continued after he retired, as seen by his coaching duties and inclusion into multiple halls of fame, including the New York Mets. Aside from the diamond, his personal life was enriched by his family, with whom he shared the highs and lows of his retirement years. Tributes to Jerry Grote Number three, Keith Barnes, internationally renowned as Golden Boots, passed away peacefully at the age of 89. He was a Welsh-born Australian rugby league great who played predominantly as a fullback for the Australian national team and the Balmain Tigers in the 1950s and 1960s. His moniker, Golden Boots, came from his unrivaled goal-kicking abilities, which made him a figure beloved not only in Australia but all over the world. After hanging up his boots, he continued to define the game from the sidelines as a referee and later a beloved commentator, leaving a lasting mark on rugby league history. His path from the fields of Wales to becoming an Australian sports star demonstrates his perseverance and brilliance. Despite facing great competition and suffering grand final defeats with the Balmain Tigers, his leadership abilities and strategic acumen were apparent. His post-playing career saw him take on key positions in the sports administration, which influenced the game's development in Australia. Recognized for his contributions on and off the field, Barnes's legacy is commemorated through the Keith Barnes Medal, an annual accolade for exceptional backs at the West's Tigers Club. 
His admittance into the Australian Rugby League Hall of Fame and inclusion in Australia's 100 Greatest Players highlight his massive impact on the game. To international fans, particularly those in the USA, Barnes represents the spirit of rugby league, a sport of resilience, strategy, and heart. Tributes to Keith Barnes. Number 2. Adejumoke Adarunmu, internationally recognized for her vibrant roles in Nollywood, passed away at the age of 40. Her dynamic characters, such as Esther in Jennifer's Diary and Kalechi in Indu Street, left an everlasting impression on African cinema and its global audience. Her performances brought stories to life that resonated with viewers all across the world, demonstrating her versatility from comedy to drama. Her journey began in Abeokuta, Nigeria, and continued to the prominent stages of Nollywood, where she became a household celebrity. Her skill captivated international audiences, making her a symbol of film's universal language. Her performance in Alakata 2, with talents like Funky Akindil and Toyin Abraham, cemented her reputation as an acting powerhouse. Her commitment to her trade was shown not only in her performances, but also in her academic studies. With a degree in international relations and additional training in France, she demonstrated the power of education and passion in accomplishing one's goals. Though her life was cut short, her legacy lives on via her influential work and the roads she paved for future generations of actors. Her story is a beacon for aspiring talents worldwide, proving that with talent and perseverance, borders can be transcended. Tributes to Adejumoke Adarunmu. Today's top headlines. News 1. At the 2024 CMT Music Awards, the country music world paid homage to the legendary Toby Keith, who passed away on February 5th at the age of 62. Icons Sammy Hagar, Brooks and Dunn, and Lainey Wilson led a moving tribute covering Keith's hits like Should Have Been a Cowboy, I Love This Bar, and How Do You Like Me Now? The tribute, highlighted by Keith's own band and introduced by baseball star Roger Clemens, was a vibrant celebration of Keith's impactful three-decade career. With the audience singing along, the performance was a heartfelt reminder of Keith's enduring legacy and the profound loss felt within the country music community. News 2. Colt Ford is currently fighting for his life in a stable but critical condition following a heart attack after his recent performance in Gilbert, Arizona. The 53-year-old artist, recognized for his distinctive blend of country and rap, collapsed post his show at Dirks Bentley's Whiskey Row. He was swiftly attended to and hospitalized at the Mayo Clinic in Scottsdale for the best possible care. Ford, a beloved figure in the music industry, has previously faced significant health challenges, including eye cancer and myasthenia gravis. As the news of his hospitalization spreads, fans and fellow artists are rallying in support, holding on to hope for his full recovery. Ford's remarkable journey, marked by resilience in the face of adversity, underscores his enduring spirit. News 3. After a captivating spring break in Japan, adorned with cherry blossoms and cultural explorations, Lauren Sanchez and Jeff Bezos, along with Lauren's three children, have returned to the U.S. While the exterior snapshots showcase a seamless blend of fashion and leisure, Lauren candidly reveals the less glamorous side of international travel, the battle with jet lag. Despite the fatigue reflected in her humorous social media posts, the trip seems to have been a cherished escape, filled with memorable adventures from ancient temple visits to sushi delights. As they adjust back to their routines, the essence of Japan lingers in their hearts, promising a return to the land that captured their spirits. News 4. In a tragic turn of events in Georgia, an 11-year-old girl, Caitlin Simons, lost her life in a house fire while attempting to save her beloved dog. 
The devastating incident occurred on Sydney Drive in Spalding County, rendering the home a total loss. Caitlin's uncle, Charles Beecher, heartbreakingly recounts her final act of bravery as she ran upstairs to rescue her puppy, Little Man, but sadly, neither survived. The community is mourning the loss of the young girl, remembered for her bright smile and love for animals. The Spalding County Fire Department, shaken by the tragedy, provided counseling for the responding firefighters. Caitlin, a cheerleader and a student at Cowan Road Middle School, is survived by her brother, mother, and stepdad, leaving behind a family and community in grief. Number one, Alexei Sadovich, an internationally renowned Russian professional road bicycle racer, passed away at the age of 34. Throughout his dynamic career, he exhibited remarkable skill and determination, making enormous contributions to the world of cycling that had an impact well beyond his own country. He began his professional career with Team Katusha and immediately rose to prominence in the sport, particularly after winning the Lisa Min event in Belgium in 2013. This victory was not only a watershed moment for Sadovich, but it also served as an inspiration to riders around the world, demonstrating the strength of resolve and strategic thinking. During the famous 2016 Giro d'Italia, he tackled problems with grace and professionalism, despite issues such as the drafting episode. His ability to weather the highs and lows of his career with tenacity exemplifies the attributes that made him a beloved figure in the international cycling community. His legacy is defined by his enthusiasm for cycling, competitive spirit, and uncompromising dedication to perfection. He will be remembered as a source of inspiration, motivating aspiring cyclists to follow their objectives with determination and courage. His impact on the sport will be felt for a long time since his tale is one of triumph, resilience, and the unwavering determination to prevail in the face of overwhelming odds. Tributes to Alexei Tsadovich.